Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. the best kind of magic. Ah, oh, Calaglia. It feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us, too? Dad. Hey, chin up! This is your hometown! Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? <sighs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know... <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... <sighs> I should have been here. Just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears and Dan in disputes. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? To get to Lenegas. Lenegas? Are you out of your damn mind? Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nath.
I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor. There's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. A zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. Hmm... Hmm? All right. <laughs> hmm? I guess... Hmm. Hmm. Right. I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well... Everything okay with Hoodle, Renwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Calaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland! Actually, Dan and owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Whoo! You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach and sides, like a map of our travels! <laughs> Ow, lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention.
I'd steer clear of that Zoogle if I were you. Damn. That week. Out of our way! The tempest is going to be fury! Reflect on that shit! I think I'll pass on the head! Try harder! Or the flame inside me! Fury! Exploit the enemy's weakness! Fury! No further! Healing circle! I'm in your death. Anything in armor is all mine! Instinct shopping! Orochi Fury! Die on the ground! Team Team without a trace. Dance in the the devastation. On your knees. Explode. Try harder. Hit air pressure. Fury. 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 That's for sure. Hi, Hoodle! Orochi's Fury! Light after Let's keep our eyes on the prize.
Yeah! What? Right. <laughs> Afraid not. Right. Yeah! We've reached our destination.
I'd like to check... Their wares, if you don't mind. It's quite hot here. The climate feels different from Menencia's. It's gotten much cooler since leaving town, though. Does that mean eyes were burning holes in us? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. <laughs> 